Hi, Bob Greenie here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I am looking at the brass that has been exposed to plasmoids or potentially coherent matter in one of the Vega experiments. And what you're looking at here is just a sort of the raw um, brushed brass sample, dirty brass. And I'll move it into the boundary area, and you'll see how this changes. So we move across. And you'll see here maybe a first affected zone. And one might imagine that there's some little bit of plasmoid that popped out. Actually looks like it may have come down that little crack and kind of etched into the surface there. So we'll come out of that and we'll continue towards the area. So here's, here's a couple of them. Uh, you imagine these have come off the main structure and done some etching some process along the surface there you see Okay, so we're coming into the sort of affected area. That's probably just a piece of lint, um, perennial issue. So it's a piece of fiber from someone's clothing. There you go. So it's run around on the surface. So whatever it was on the surface has been etched away, and maybe there is some a zinc that was sublimed or some lead that was sublimed or tin that was sublimed from the brass and spread out between the plates and maybe that is what this is then moving through and creating these little trails here. So what I'm using for this it's a $70 attachment to a Samsung S7 phone camera and the S7 is quite good although it's only 12 megapixels it has um, quite large sensors uh, the actual pixel elements are quite large and so they let a lot, a lot of light in and also um, the camera works well with this Nerugu lens and some better so-called better cameras in other phones won't work so well and we've tried this with a range of phones and still this uh, S7 seems to be very good. Okay so now we're getting to the more affected zone you can see the instance of this kind of tracks is increasing. It's a very different visual from what you get from the dino light edge. Okay, I'll zoom out to get a better overview. Much more affected over here now. So we must be approaching the main tracks, the main ravines or whatever. Now. I've got this on a kind of grippy stand and it allows me to push down on it to change the focal point, which is quite useful.
is a transition zone as well. And this is one of the reasons why you have to look with various techniques because some microscope techniques give you a very different impression of what's going on. So thank you very much for your time.